Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the K&V, or Nap and Vote. This is their 8400P uh, full extension drawer slides. The 8400P is a reference to the fact that they are full extension drawer slides with a 100 pound rating uh, and just a typical anachrome zinc type finish, zinc really. It's also available in white as well. What I have here on my desk is the 8 inch version for purposes of this video. Obviously you're going to get two of these members. Full extension, positive locking, drawer slides. Of course two of them. Let's go over the extended description information uh, about these drawer slides. First of all they're available uh, in 8 to 28 inch lengths and in 2 inch increments. Okay, They are designed for use on box drawer applications, just you know something that is up to 24 inch wide, uh, you know a typical sort of cabinet installation. The maximum load is 100 pounds. Uh, product features a lever disconnect for easy removal. That's a reference to um, you know when you have this installed this would be as if you were looking at it from the opposite side of the cabinet front because it's attached this way. This is when you stand on uh, well this side you put your hand here and the lever disconnect is literally right here. That's how you pull that out. Remove the drawer but also you do that for installation purposes as well. Snaps back into place very positively. So your lever disconnects are just here. Telescope, telescopic, full extension on precision ball bearings. You can certainly see all the ball bearings that are there. Inch and 13 sixteenths height, 100 pound load rating. Your clearance is you know, inch and a sixteenth total. 32 millimeter hole pattern with direct access mounting for you, you know, cabinet shops. Lever disconnect for easy removal. Ball retainer latch and ramps for easy drawer insertion. Okay. That positive locking that's in the back. Metal ball retainer holds three ball bearings per inch. And that, you know, it simply makes for a very nice and smooth sort of operation, is the bottom line. Got bearing construction. As well. You can see both of those races. Polymer cushion stop, which is this here in the back. Maybe used in a horizontal position with a load rating of 30 pounds. That's not unusual to install these like this, but the load rating is significantly reduced, of course. So those are also not unheard of to be installed, just simply like this. Okay, rather than like that. I'm partial to Nap and Vogue. It's because they're a tried and true trusted drawer slide manufacturer. And whether it be general handyman contractors, remodelers, people doing woodwork and cabinetry, it's, you know, the material is simply high quality and set it and forget it sort of uh, in, uh, drawer slide material. So there are links below this video. Let's look at the first one called Template. The template really is a cut sheet of what this is. It should be called a cut sheet because that gives you the general information about it and some sister products as it relates. Nothing other than that is really there that we've not already covered. Although it does refer to the fact that screws are included. Okay. Now, second link is, well, the third link is called cut sheet. And uh, that is actually, yeah, those two terms are reversed. The template is the cut sheet. The cut sheet is the template, but by the time you're seeing this, that will be corrected. 
So the template just shows a dimensional cross section of what the item is. Okay. Now, the important part is the installation instructions. And those, of course, are included with your package. And they're really simple and straightforward. Quite frankly, the first page um, gives you dimensions on all of the different sizes. Uh, and basically starts with um, drawer slide mounting profile, gives you what it looks like in cross section, uh, gives you the information that you need to set the net width of your, of your uh, drawer uh, in comparison to the inside opening of your drawer of your cabinet. So basically that formula is the width is going to be called W for width, the net drawer width is one in a thirteen what well, pardon me one and a sixteenth of an inch less than the inside width of the uh, unit okay <clears throat> the height obviously is you know within discretion of what you're installing uh, in terms of the height of the drawer depending on whether or not there's uh, how you're mounting it uh, how you're installing it it would go likely fairly close to the full height with a small margin top and bottom obviously that drawer profile mounting drawing gives you importantly the center line of the screw holes from the bottom of the cabinet one and an eighth that's crucial that's for both uh, sides drawer release lever it uh, shows that uh, graphically there okay a reference to the uh, rear mounting bracket should you be installing it with that that's not uncommon as well depending on the construction of your cabinetry so page two is full of installation instructions quite frankly the majority of it is just languages other than english uh, when re, uh, maximum drawer width 24 inch um, when you are replacing existing drawer slides you're going to want to be sure uh, that you have arrived at the proper mathematical requirements for you know width of the unit um, it's noted there again two inch plus a 30 second uh, makes it one in uh, one in a sixteenth so if you're installing it in an existing cabinetry they're going to ask that you remove everything fill all the holes sand it make sure that there are no sorts of um, conflicts between the old locations for screws and the required new locations for the screws meaning for these units Insert the drawer members. So what you're going to do is remove the drawer member. And you're going to get that installed onto the side of the drawer. Okay. Place the front edge of the member a sixteenth of an inch from the back side of the face of the cabinet. If it is frameless. Um, you're going to uh, make that an eighth of an inch is, is how that that's how that changes so place the front edge of each member a sixteenth of an inch for face frame cabinets an eighth of an inch if there's frameless then you go an eighth you hold this back what they're saying an eighth of an inch back from the uh, inside face of the drawer front uh, fasten each member using two pan head screws in the vertical slotted holes here I don't tighten them fully myself uh, because I know that I'll need to adjust it marginally. Uh, then you're going to install the cabinet members. Face frame cabinets. Uh, you're going to install them per the dimension from the bottom up. That needs to be followed for this as well. You're dealing with a center line on that. And the center line of the screw holes uh, for the drawer member is the same as the uh, cabinet member okay the first section of that new cabinetry uh, is for face frame cabinets and then with the rear mounting brackets uh, jumping over to just the traditional sidewall sort of installation uh, once you have all that secured um, you will install your drawer in, uh, adjust and then secure your screws finally and what that really means is you'll not only tighten your units intended for adjustment then through the fixed holes as well because that's when you know that you have your 
accurate locations once you get proper smooth operation, uh, not only for the drawer uh, portion, but obviously, of course, for the cabinet portion as well. Okay. Slide should operate smoothly and quietly. If, adjust, if necessary, adjust for proper alignment. Um, now, the name nap and vote is synonymous with uh, not only drawer slides, but with many other items. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up their full line catalog. And quite frankly, uh, that catalog is called Cabinet Hardware Guide, Drawer Slides, Shelving, Fixtures, TV Accessories, and Ergonomics. It's a great publication. It's, in my experience, it's hard to come by. Uh, so you might want to link to it if you have more than an occasional need for uh, drawer slides especially, but the other items that they sell. It's a very well laid out, organizationally uh, well laid out catalog. Now adding on to that are the balance of the important links that are there, but to call to your attention, a relatively new line of hardware for Nap and Vote is the sliding door hardware that they have, whether it be pocket, bypass, bifold, uh, you know, just general sliding uh, material. They have a comprehensive offering of uh, track and hangers for those residential and commercial applications. Probably the most logically laid out catalog for that that I've ever witnessed in my 20, well, plus 20 years. Once you know your application, bypass, determine your weight rating, go immediately to that section of the catalog, and then just select from the few options that you might have, aluminum track, steel track, whatever the case might be. But once you know one item, determine the other, you're there, and you can get the part number and, and move on. Uh, a relatively new line for them, so far so good. We've been selling it for, at least at this point, a couple of years. If you have any questions on the Nap & Vote 8400P, full extension drawer slides, or any other Nap & Vote product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.